100 yards right on the dot. That is the length of tonight's shot. The sun is going down and it's about to go down. I'm out here at the range. I've got an awesome shot that it's never been attempted before as far as I know in my very extensive YouTube research. It's shooting a clay out of the air at 100 yards. Probably can't even hardly see my Promatic machine down there with none other than a crossbow. Let me show you what we're working with tonight. Oh, lights, camera, it's about action time. We got the light set up, hopefully provide enough light that when it starts getting even darker here, you'll see that clay in midair. We have our Promatic Matrix trap machine down here stacked full of white flyer orange crusher. So when I hit it, should leave a nice puff, clearly indicating that I got it done. I don't know, I like this lighting. What do you think, Aaron? Looking good, let's get it done. Yeah, this is uh, no small task. No, that's a tiny target to hit with a crossbow <laughs> out of the air. And then to do it at night. At night, that makes it a lot more challenging. Might be a little crazy. Yeah, you got it, no we, problem. So you know how this whole crazy idea came to be? No. Vortex calls me up and says, hey, we're coming out with a new crossbow scope. It's the Crossfire 2. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna have uh, hash marks out to 100 yards for drop. It's gonna have a lighted reticle, red and green for low light situations. It's got red and green reticle. So what do you think you're gonna use? I'm gonna go with red tonight. Red? I think that's gonna be just like pivotal to getting the shot done. Cause once it gets a little bit darker, it's gonna be hard to see without that reticle, at least to know my drop. It's a two to seven power. I'm probably gonna shoot. I want a, a little bit wider field of view. So I'm probably gonna be using four to five power maybe. That's five. probably smart because you're shooting at a moving target, so. Yes, and that's gonna be the biggest challenge of tonight's shot is picking that clay up in the scope as it's moving in the dark, trying to pick it out, get the right spot on the reticle, pull that trigger, and then connect out of midair. A lot of moving pieces coming together. Special shout out to Raven for sending out this Raven R29, shooting at a blazing 430 feet per second. Wow. That's now, fast. We shot some Ravens before. We know that they are known for being extremely accurate. It's like shooting a rifle without the recoil. Well, one thing I noticed about this model is it's definitely a lot more compact than the other models that we shot, the R15 and R20. It, it definitely is. Got a few rounds through this one. It shoots really nice, loads really nice. I'm super excited to get this shot done. That's all I got to say. Oh, it's just, my, I couldn't hear what you said. I didn't say nothing to you, lady. Siri, be quiet. So I'm just wondering, why'd you have me out here? You want me to do this shot or? Well, I figured it would be handy in case uh, I got 12 oh, bolts. Oh, you want me to be a retriever? I want you to be my fetcher and go get the bolts when they end up, if they end up down there. You know, one of the most common questions that we get on our videos is how many shots did it take? <laughs> I'm not gonna reveal that at the end of this video. If people comment down below how many shots you think it took and you're the first one to guess it correctly, the first one we see that guess, guesses it correctly. How about we send them a signed GBX hat? Hey, that sounds like a great idea. We'll make it fun. Hey, it takes a few practice shots and one really good shot. That's, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. And and you know what? Here's the thing, guys. How often do I go out and shoot clays at 100 yards with crossbows? Uh, never. Never. So right now is practice time. When I get it, that's celebration time. I've shot clays out of the air in a lot of different ways. I feel like this is gonna be a challenge. Aaron says we got till midnight. If it goes beyond midnight, he's calling it. So I got some pressure, but I know I'm gonna get it done. No doubt about that. One other thing I forgot to mention about the Vortex Crossfire 2 scope is that it comes ready to mount right out of the box. Rings, it's got a neoprene sleeve, it's ready to go. So all you gotta do is get your crossbow, get the Crossfire 2, and then go do something a little less obscure than shoot clays out of the air. Ready to get going? I'm ready, Aaron. Let's do it. Behind the scenes of tonight's filming is my lovely wife, Courtney. Hello. Going to be encouraging me back here, telling me all good things to make it happen, right? It's dark enough. Let's get rolling. Sun's down. Mosquitoes out. It's going to keep me motivated to get this shot done. Let's go. Oh. Under it. Could clearly see that. I love how easy that it cranks. Oh. oh, I was ready to celebrate. So close. Oh, oh so close. Oh, I did not spray down. And <laughs> they keep getting worse and worse and worse. Get it? You got my back? Got it. Can you get my front? Okay, we're doused up. 
Douse down, douse sideways. Now I can focus and get this shot done. So a few shots in, we're getting pretty close, but a few things that are rather challenging is, one, it's hard to pick up that clay as it's going up with a low light situation. Two, when you shoot, you see the luminot go past the clay, but it's hard to tell depth perception and really know exactly how you missed it. From my perspective, I can tell if I missed it left or right, but high or low is really hard to tell because you can't tell depth of your bolts. Aaron's clear out of the way. Let's get this shot done. Oh, 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 oh that was close. Does it look like I'm running really fast like this? <laughs> there is such a fine margin between shooting just a little too early, shooting just a little too late. A, a fraction of a second ends up being a foot to two feet off. This is all about point of aim. Yes, important, and timing, super important. That was money. Hey, as always, I forgot to mention, but if you wanna learn more about the products we use in our videos, make sure you check out the link in the description. Oh, man. This is the 100 yard crossbow clay crusher. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fantastic shot. Clay pigeon out of the air at 100 yards, Raven crossbow. That was awesome. What a challenging shot. Hey, special thanks to Vortex Optics for hooking me up with the Crossfire 2 and Raven for hooking me up with the R29. By the way, have you guessed? How many shots do you think it took? Comment below. First one to guess it correctly will receive a signed GBX hat. And let's get a little controversial here, Aaron. Okay, how are we gonna get controversial? Do you think that qualifies as a new world record? Well, I don't know anyone else that shot a uh, clay pigeon hold out that. of the air. I can't hold everything here. I don't know anyone else that shot a clay pigeon out of the air with a crossbow, 100 yards, <laughs> in the dark. So uh, I think that's a Gould Brother certified world record. Yes. Nice shot. <laughs> it's funny because people will comment down below and they'll say, well, it's not official unless it's a, unless it's a Guinness record. Hey. <laughs> Guinness can come certify it. That would be cool. We're not gonna pay for it. You can believe it or not. I mean, Guinness does not make boards like this. No, nope, they don't have quite the uh, craftsmanship and uh, artistic capabilities that I did when I painted that board. That was a nice job. Is it official? No, nope. it's Gould Brothers official, but hope you still enjoyed the video. And remember, it's impossible to hit the shots you never take. So pull that trigger, shoot a bolt, bust a clay, and then shoot for your dreams. See ya.